Neanderthals, our closest relatives. Scientists have been trying to solve their mystery for decades. Why did they become extinct? And could there be something of the Neanderthal in us? The Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig, Germany. For the first time ever, researchers have presented the gene sequence of an extinct prehistoric human. The geneticist Svante Pebel, one of the directors of the institute, has been working on decoding the Neanderthal genome since 1997. Finally, he and his team have achieved their goal, and their findings have caused a worldwide sensation. The Neanderthal has actually left traces in the genome of modern humans, of between 2 and 4%. The fascinating thing is that we're a mosaic. Our genome is a kind of mosaic. When I go across a chromosome, I'm in one part more closely related to you than to another person. Then, as we go further, I'm perhaps more closely related to some other person than to you. And then, more related to someone in Africa than to you, and now and again, more closely related to a Neanderthal than to you. So what these results actually show is that this large mosaic, this great big puzzle, contains parts which are from the Neanderthal. The greatest difficulty for the scientists, avoiding contamination of the fossil specimen with their own DNA and with the DNA of bacteria present on the bones. A special clean room was set up in Leipzig. Only here could specimens be taken. The researchers developed numerous new techniques to separate ancient DNA from new. Vindia near Zagreb in Croatia. Most of the bones for the Neanderthal Genome Project were found here. The limestone cave provided ideal conditions for their preservation. It too played a role in decoding the genome. The icon in German archaeology discovered near Metman in 1856. The Neanderthal was named after this fossil. To throw light on the Neanderthal's relationship to modern man, the researchers sequenced five additional genomes. They stem from people from all over the world. The comparison with the Neanderthal genome brought completely unexpected results. It is obvious that Neanderthals and early modern humans mixed. However, the inheritance from the Neanderthal is unevenly distributed across the world. The most astonishing thing was that we find this small contribution in Europeans and in Asians, but not in Africans. It seems to be something that Europeans and Asians have in common, but which is missing in Africans, a small part of the Neanderthal genome. Why are the genes scattered so unevenly across the world? Svante Pebo and his team can only speculate. The great mystery. How can it be that the Neanderthal has contributed to individuals in parts of the world which were never actually inhabited by Neanderthals? The most likely hypothesis we have is that this mixing with Neanderthals happened very early, with ancestors of the ones we're examining from Croatia. The most likely area for this is the Middle East. 100,000 to 50,000 years before our time, anatomical modern humans migrate from Africa.